Hey, good morning, everyone. Tractor Man 44 here. This morning, what we're going to do, we're going to test and see how well the OS27 does in a cant that's very near to the maximum size it says it can handle. It says it can handle a 22 inch cant, and this is 21 inches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and take two inches, several two inch pieces off of it right off the bat. Just for the record, this one started out at over 40 inches in diameter, and I cut it down with a uh, with a Holzfarma chainsaw mill and a 42 inch guide bar. There's a two inch cut right there, and let's take a look and see what it's got under there. This one, this one unfortunately had a good deal of rot, which is how come it ended up so small. So the rot was literally from here, which is 21 inches, all the way out to the outside diameter of the 40 plus inch piece of wood. So I'd actually stuck my hand down inside and I could reach in about 12 inches and I wasn't quite to the bottom of it. Okay, so I asked if we could do something fun today, and he chose sawmilling. <laughs> I should have been a little more explicit about what I think is fun. Anyway. Well, that's good. He flipped that, which weighed a ton. Not literally, but it's heavy. We're going to, um, this was the chunk of wood that had a lot of rot in it. So we're going to try to get a couple of good pieces off the top. Um, you're going to slice them, what, two inches, did you say? Yeah, I'll make two inch. Okay. These will be two by two by 14s now. And if we take two off of here, it's going to leave us roughly 17 inch left by 14. Yeah, we don't know what we're going to see when we, we get a little further. So we're hoping that we can get some good slabs off this. It's going to take a little off the top. It's a little washboardy up there, so. Take a sliver off to give us a more square, and then also get rid of those uh, chainsaw mill marks. Yeah. That's almost thin enough to be veneer, but not nearly smooth enough. Well, you can see all the tension that's in it, of course. That's really pretty grain on the back. Show that really other side. That's really not So that's what we're actually going to look at right there on the two we can cut off. Yeah. So yeah, that's going to be a nice grain. But it also shows you how reasonably accurate we were this direction with the uh, with the Holst Farmer yeah. chainsaw mill. I don't know what we do with that. I don't know. See what this gets us. Yeah, 
Yeah, hold it back up a minute. Well, it's easy for you to say. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's See how pretty that grain is? That would make such a pretty countertop in my she shed. <laughs> what she shed? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, now I can see it. There you go. Really, really pretty. There's a little bit of bug. Um, Very little. Rot in there, yeah. Very but, little. But, yeah, but it's thick enough. I think it'd be fine. And like... Right. However, this side here is almost, almost, no, it's still got some wormholes. A little bit. I mean, it could be, if, you could cut that out. I kind of like some of that. Well, if you epoxy it all, it gets filled Right, over. right. It gives it some character. Oh, yeah, nothing to this one. <laughs> yeah, later tonight, we'll complain of your shoulders and back hurting. No. <laughs> no. Like yeah. a, you made a door or a tabletop or a or whatever, our bench top, uh, yeah. do them like that and it'd be like bookings. Door, yeah. You can make me barn doors. <laughs> I'd have to build a new barn. <laughs> no, 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 no. I say keep going until, until you get to that big long crack in the center. I don't know if you can see that one down there. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So far, so good. I might run out of energy before we get to Well, that. that's why I'm not pushing. Oh, this is tough. I know. I beyond my ability. Okay, let's see. It's not it's gonna fall out. No yeah. yeah, it won't fall out. Ooh, watch your fingers. Still okay? Not too bad. There you go, man. It's solid. Oh, good. Yeah. I was going to say that's too much weight. Yeah. We'll probably get two more two inches off of here and then we'll see what's down in the middle. No, I think the other way was better. There's going to be some that's not usable, it's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. But you might be able to keep that rod over to the side. You use your me a saw. Yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, Whoa! Yeah, I should have used the king hook. <laughs> it will be easier. I was asking about, it looked like the board the, the, was was waving, and it did. He said the blade is getting worn, so you may see it on this cut, too. Hey guys, now that we're almost done for today, one of the things that I thought I'd better mention to you is uh, whenever you got these bandsaw mills, you got to make sure you stay on top of the sawdust. I didn't show any of that during the time we were messing with this one here because it was quite intense because these, uh, with that thing 21 inches wide, it puts one heck of a lot of sawdust through there. So I'm just going to show you the simple way that I do it. You got to stop and think too about this really green timber. It actually impacts itself in and around up in there. So you got to get pretty aggressive about getting it out and keeping it clean. I opened this up and there was so much impacted in there that it didn't, uh, didn't let my safety switch shut the engine off when I raised the door. I thought that was a faulty safety switch, but then nope. I just went ahead and knocked that stuff out and it worked absolutely perfectly. So that's just something else to keep in mind. Of course, that was a test that I was doing. At least I can tell you that anyway. On that big stuff, when it was 21 inches wide, every two passes I had to stop and clean it out. Uh, it literally plugged up the sawdust chute uh, and it's just such a great quantity of that moist sawdust. 
just created heck. That's the way I like to clean them out. Then just take a little, a small brush and get in there and get all the nooks and crannies that the blower just doesn't want to get to because it's so wet and stuck in there. But there you go. Do it if you want. If you don't, that's okay too. But it works really well for me. I also blow it all out around the rails and everything so it doesn't sit here with all that moisture on it and cause uh, deterioration. Uh, the paint's bad enough. The paint's already starting to come off of my bed frame. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and come right back and we'll go look at that lumber. So guys, thank you for coming along with us. Uh, if you hung in there this long, you know, to get to see the end of the video. They say that this is a OS 27 that's capable of cutting a 22 inch cant. Yes, it definitely is. But uh, boy, I tell you what, even with a, well, it was a new blade. I'd only made two or three cuts with it before. Uh, so it was a new blade going into it. But by the time we got through, I'm telling you, it was getting tougher and tougher uh, to push that thing through that 21 inch material which is why I actually began considering rotating it and then getting a little bit more off the uh, side dimensions because it was a much easier to push. And of course you can see how simple and easy it went through the two by eights there towards the tail end. And then of course you can see what we cut off the outside diameter getting them down to a workable size. Uh, we'll be able to resaw and get a lot of one inch uh, shop material out of, out of those guys right there. Then stacked up against the back side up there on the other end are eight two by eight by six foot long all shelving boards that'll be shelving for inside the workshop what we ended up with were two two by 14 full two inch by 14 by six foot long two by 14s and then three two by 16 uh, two of them are okay one of them's actually going to need a little bit of epoxy depending on what it is that you're going to do with it but these here are all worm eaten uh, two by 21s you can see these are all all the wood ant holes and everything in there uh, there's still larvae and stuff in there because we're pulling some larvae out. I've been knocking them out. There's one that's cut in half right there. So we have to blow all of those out, clean all those out, and then uh, treat it to kill any of them that might still be alive. And then that can definitely be an epoxy, an epoxy tabletop, countertop, or whatever. So, hey, it's been a fun morning. I had to miss us out here. I don't know what she said on the video, but I'm sure I'll find out when I start editing. And uh, now i got to go ahead and stack this stuff. And you know what? This Track Man 44... And I'm out of here, guys.